Here's what I hope will be a quick little video. I'm here on my Raspberry Pi and I'm connected over VNC. I'm running Ubuntu 2104 on an 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4. It's a, an in-place upgrade from 2010, which is the first Raspberry Pi 64-bit desktop Ubuntu that they put out. So I'm looking forward to being on the 2204 LTS and then I won't have to do any more upgrades for another five years. And I'm realizing that I'm running a little low on storage. I think I only have a 32 gigabyte SD card in it. So if I open up a terminal and I can run df-h and I can see, oh, I guess I did put in a 32 gig card because you can see here the device has a size of 29 gigs and I've used 13 and have 16 available. So that's not too bad, but I do want to get a bigger SD card so I can expand the main volume. So to that end, I have ordered a 512 gig micro SD card off Amazon. Oh, look what I can do with it. I can play games on my phone. I can ride motorcycles. No, wait, I can shoot 4K video of someone riding a motorcycle. Oh, extreme speeds for fast shooting, like drive-bys. No, no, wait, no, this is not GTA 5. And... Ooh, up to 160 megabyte per second cubed transfer speeds per second per second per second. What is this? I never learned that in physics class. And ooh, temperature proof, waterproof, shock proof, and x-ray proof. Well, that's good. That's good. Because when you're going through airport security, you don't want people to be able to see your files. Good evening. Today, I've finally gotten what I think is my new memory card. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed it came so soon. Amazon was going to give me a refund if it didn't get here by December 1st, but it is November 26th and it's here. So let's open it up. Hmm. Let's open. Yes, let's follow the directions. There's even a place you can tear it open. Look at that. Here it comes. <gasps> 512 GB asterisk. A2 for faster app loading and performance. Vroom vroom. Race car go fast. Oh boy. Oh look, there's a little squirrel. That means you can use it with Google Play. And you can use this for your drone and for action. Not officially licensed by GoPro. Okay, so if you're on Windows, you're gonna wanna go get Win32 Disk Imager. So we're gonna save that. And while that is downloading, we might as well shut down our Raspberry Pi so we can take the card out. Ah, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Actually, that was just the SSH session that I was running the VNC server in, so no problem to boot me out of that. So putting that SD card into the Windows machine, yes, you get all this lovely stuff. So do not, do not format any drives that come up. Just close everything, close, cancel, get out, get out of it. You might be able to read like the files off the boot partition, but yeah, we just want to close all that stuff out and wait for Win32 Disk Imager. Okay, so we're installing Win32 Disk Imager, and that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, we'll make a desktop shortcut, why not? And there we go, we're ready to launch. Okay, so this was a little bit confusing to me at first, but what you need to do in the beginning is specify the image file that you want to store the SD card to. So I'm just going to call this SD card image i.img. Okay, and now uh, this one came up as two drives H and K. Just pick the first one and hit read and wait for it to go. It's going to take a hot minute. To read all that, it's asked to take a full bit-by-bit bit image of the card. 
And then when it's done, and my OBS crashed, but I promise you it did complete successfully, we're going to do the safely remove hardware business. And now we're going to put the new SD card in, and it just shows up as a blank drive. And we're going to go back to Win32 Disk Imager, pick the image that we recorded earlier, and then we're going to write it to that SD card, which is represented here by drive H. Just hit write. And we'll say, yeah, yeah, we don't mind writing to a physical device. That's the whole point. And this is also going to take a minute, although it seems to actually be going faster than it took to read in the first place. But we can while away the hours by playing Minesweeper. Ah, bliss. This is running through Wine VDM. Okay, it looks like we're just about done here. All right. Uh, so same deal as before. Close everything. Don't format anything. Just exit. Now let's get back to Minesweeper. Okay. So I know that those three have to be bombs. And let's see. One of those has to be a bomb. I think I'd have to guess. That's not going to be fun. I don't like guessing. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. I did guess. I didn't really have to. I did have other moves available. I guess I did it because I figured I'd have to guess sooner or later. So might as well get it over with. But now what? Well, I usually have, yeah, I usually have good luck with opening the space next to a two, like in a cardinal direction. Uh, but one of these two has to be a bomb. What to do? What to do? Well, nothing ventured, nothing... Dang it. Anyway, let's eject that SD card. And just if you're paranoid, we can always just go back and look again. Yep, it's not there. So now we put the new SD card in the Pi and power it on. It's working! It's working! There were some, like, grow root messages that were showing a second ago. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Well, there we are. All right, I'll get back on my computer proper and go in through VNC. And here we can see that we have all that new space available in our root partition. So that grow root actually worked. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even have to do anything. We just dump into disks here just to see it visually. And we've got our boot partition on the left and our main file system on the right. And it is huge. So this has been a complete success. Let's see if I do any better at solitaire. And I'll see you next time for more tech misadventures.